on to phase two. All the walls have been built. And Briar and I are doing the wire. She's the hammer girl. Yep. I'm the staple girl. <laughs> We've already learned from a lot of mistakes. Oh, but we're getting faster. So by the time we reach the last side, we'll be good. So I thought the wire would be the fun part and the easy part, but it hasn't been. It doesn't exactly lay flush. And when you try to tighten it, you get bubbles. It's not near as simple as I thought. So I made my handy dandy wire stretcher so we can set that down on the wire and pull it towards us and staple. That's why, that's where Briar comes in. Another mistake, um, the staples were not going in all the way. So that's where Briar's been out here hammering, following me around. But then I thought, what if I change brands of staples? And sure enough, whatever brand I switch to is much better. They're going right in. So we'll keep going. Yep. Keep you posted. Mm, not yet. Okay. It's definitely drinking. Well, it's swallowing, it's not drinking. I, mean, I guess that technically is drinking, but. Do you want to tell its story? Uh, they found it there this morning, laying down in the yard. There were a mom and a twin, or two twins. And apparently, the mom took the one and left this one behind. Maybe because it's sick. And the mom's pretty smart, so it's in a pretty big distress right now. But I don't know. We'll see. It's got a few ticks, but not near enough to make it weak or anemic. But there might be something else wrong with it. Because it was making like a weird noise? Yeah, very distressed, kind of, um, uh, just distressed. Not really pain. It seemed more like it's just trying to get its breath. Yeah. Here we have rebellious mama goat and rebellious baby. And there's two more rebellious babies somewhere. There they are. They've escaped yeah. the pasture. Yeah. So there goes Nash. Three boulders should do it. So you know how it goes. Once you start thinking that life is good and everything's smooth, that's when the changes come. Or that's when the trials come. Or that's when all the animals escape the pasture just when I thought we had it under control. So everybody's escaped. Well, not everybody. Rigsby's still in there. And one of the mamas is in there. And the pigs are actually in there. So it could be worse. But apparently Willow wanted to go in the other night and they let her and she's the culprit. She dug out a huge hole under the fence. So they're filling it with boulders. And then we'll try to get everybody back in tonight and go from there. Just when you think life is easy, surprise, it's not. Look at the cute greeting we get. Hey, little deer and two kitty, three kitties. Look at you all. Let me come down. Okay, so I thought they was, were a chocolate theme this year. Yeah, so this one's Tootsie, which is the chocolate. Okay. This one, we filmed how he had his big old abscess on him. So we, his original mother's name was Hershey. Right. But dad's like, we shouldn't have to name him something that has like lumps in it. Okay. And so mom, who's filming us, loves Toblerone. Oh, Toblerone. So Toblerone. But that, they're not very lumpy. They come in little triangle pieces. Oh, well dad told me they're lumpy. No, so we're trying to find a chocolate lumpy candy bar. Maybe somebody will have a suggestion. Okay, well, when he comes over here, I'll film his head. Okay, you feed him, and then we'll talk some more while they're eating. Okay. Round, come here, bud. Round. Do you do them both at the same time? Yeah. Sometimes she's pretty... If stubborn. you have twins someday, you're going to know what you're doing. <coughs> Aww. Buddy, buddy. <laughs> nope, there's two bottles for either. Yeah, sometimes she can be a little bit stubborn. She can be really good this time. He, he never is satisfied. He always wants the rest of Tootsie's, and then after that, he's still not full. So. Still not full? Okay, now while he's occupied, I'm going to film his head. Oh, he's so fast. Okay, I think we tried to film it the other day. He's uh -huh. got this lump on his head. It used that's to be not an antler lump. That's just mm -mm. a lump. 
You're saying it used to be worse, Finn? It used to be a lot bigger. Let me touch it. I think it's deflated. Okay, so it's not as um, firm and prominent as it was. So we think it may be like a little abscess that's yeah. burst a little. Well, yeah, because if you look closely, you can see a tiny little cut on it. Okay. So I think so he either... So it probably either... popped. Yeah, popped. Okay. He seems right. a lot better now that it's gone. So he needs a name that's chocolate, but yet lumpy. Good job. Ah, he's like, come on, Mom, where's the milk? Come on, Mommy. Oh, you need to get air in there? Yeah. Here, oh, if you just need another hand. Here, let me open it real quick. You hold tight and I'll... There we go. Thank you. Okay. All right. Tootsie. So these two are doing great, right? Oh, yes. Very good. Strong and healthy. Mm -hmm. she, she's been eating a lot more than she usually does. This one. Which one? This one. The uh, one on the left here. Yes, the one that just sucked all the air out. They're like exactly the same size, Finn. He, yeah, the reason I tell him apart is because of his lump, and he's also darker than her. I think That's he's, true. I think this is a, I think she's just a normal deer, but I think he's a red-tailed deer. Well, I think in Missouri we just have one kind, at least in our area. Oh. I think they're the exact same kind, um, which would be whitetail. I think he's just a little darker. They sure are pretty, though. Nope, she doesn't have any more. Aww. Yep. Good job, Tootsie. I love Aww. after she eats, she's always like, she'll walk up to you like she's about to fall asleep any moment. She probably wants to <laughs> snuggle up and fall asleep after a good yes. bottle. He always acts just the same. Always crazy, always desperate for more. Yeah. All right, buddy. There's no more. Oh. Pretty soon you're going to have to go double up and like bring a third bottle. I know, I think we're gonna have to give him two pretty soon. Yeah. He's pretty greedy though, right buddy? Hey, you sure are cute. He's not as friendly, okay. is he? Um, he is, but we just need some more, we just need to spend time with him. Well, that's we okay can't... on one hand, because if he's just gonna be a wild deer, it might mm -hmm. be good that he's not super friendly. Yeah, and the good thing is with her, I mean, it's, that's it's kinda good, but. She only like comes to you if she knows your smell. Like sometimes she'll her. forget who I am, and I have to let her smell me, which will be good if there's if she's right. free and there's hunters around. True. She can just run off. But. True. She looks like your little friend. Maybe mm -hmm. she'll be like last year's croissant. Mm -hmm, I hope so. She's already starting to act like it. Still too young to learn how to swim, but I was gonna say I hope she swims pretty soon. After he gets a little bit nicer. Oh. Buddy, don't go into his peeing. Oh. Um, after he gets a little bit nicer, we'll be able to teach him how to swim. But yeah, she's so she's yeah. sweet. Yeah. And and how are your little kittens doing? Oh, they're doing really good. One of them are my that gray one. Little there black and white. Of, of Sace. Oh, look at that one. The gray one. Oh, deer <laughs> stepped right in the way. But the gray one's little bundle also asleep. Do they have names yet? Um, not yet. I call the runt runty, but that's all. Where's the other two, Finn? I um, see two. One's right under your leg. Uh oh, oh, that's funny. I'm glad I didn't move. Here's the, a kitty right by me. I'll go get the runt. Hi, kitty. Come here. Oh, let's see how cute you are. It's hard to film and hold a kitty at the same time. You're cute. Well, hey, now you're being friendly. Oh, nope, I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. And this is has worked out to be a great cage, so they can kind of oh, nibble yeah. on the weeds. Yeah, that's perfect. Been, it's kind of sad. They haven't been able to go on walks really lately because all of our collars, they're like the snap kind, oh, so those, if they pull, it'll just snap off. The breakaway collars. Yeah. Well, and maybe so, we can get you a normal collar. Yeah, and sometimes she'll just follow me around, but she can't really go out now because She'll yeah. follow me and then run off into the woods. And they're stuff. not ready to get in the woods on their own yet. Mm -mm. Nope. Um, we talked about putting them in the garden. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? That would work. It just, I think we have to probably wait until they're a little bit bigger so that they can't squeeze through that little right. opening under there's there. A, there's a lot more openings in the garden. Yeah. But this works out well for now. Yeah, they have it works really access well. to weeds, grass. Mm -hmm. They can jump over it, but right. they don't even try. Yeah, so. they could easily. And I like that the kittens have friends. Yeah. It's so weird. Nobody ever really thinks about it, but deer and kittens are always, like, 
super good friends. I don't know why. Oh, look at those two. They always like the deer will Aww. even groom the kids. Really? Yeah. Like Aww. if I put this over by Tootsie, she'll probably start grooming him. It's really cute. Oh, let's see if they do anything to this one. Probably step Some, on him. Yeah, they do step on them a lot, but they get the kittens will learn though. Yeah. They They're cute. Their distance. Oh, super cute. Oh. No. Uh oh. Yeah. Said, Let me play with this deer's legs. Are you gonna come say hello? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> so quickly they get spooked. All right, dear. Good night. Hi, Tootsie. Oh, you got a cute little kitty. My favorite one. You're in heaven. You've got kittens, cats, and deer. Yep. Doesn't get much better than that. And you had tuna sandwiches for dinner, mm -hmm. which is obviously favorite. your favorite. So right now, life's about perfect for you. Yep. And no droopy uh, be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them why there's no droopy. Well, all the kids, well, except for me and Sawyer, they all went to music camp. So they're going to be here at night to do some of their night chores. But other than that, I got all the chores to do. So. Yep. So you have extra work, but it is nice and quiet. Yes. Yep, all the kids are at a um, bluegrass camp, mm -hmm. and it's in Branson, it so we pick them up late at night. Yep, we did this last year. We'll pick them up late tonight. They'll do some late night chores, and you'll help cover the ones that don't get done. Yep. All they have to do now is Droopy has to do his raccoon, and Nash has to do chick uh, not chickens. Dogs. Um, yeah, dogs. Yep. Other than that, I did them all. All right, let's go on a date then, me and you. Okay. We forgot one more thing. Finn, tell him about Dorcas. Do you guys remember Dorcas, the chicken from before? Yep, you guys who, named her. Um, did they name him Dork? Did they, yeah, name they her? named him. Okay, so oh, you guys named Dorcas. She sat on eggs, right, and hatched out chicks? Yeah. Okay. She had like five or something. Yeah. No, she had like 13, but then. Anyway, I think she had. Really yeah, accidents, and I don't know if any of them grew to full size. I but think anyway, some did. she's our chicken that loves to sit on the eggs. Mm -hmm. And so Finn informed me that she's been trying to sit now and Angus has been taking her eggs every night, but we decided we're gonna round up tonight's eggs and tuck them under her, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then maybe tomorrow night when it's dark, we'll come out and move Dorcas and her eggs to the chick coop. Um, because what happens if we leave her up in the kennel behind the shop where she's laying, then the other chickens get in there Maybe like five days later, they lay a fresh egg. It complicates everything. Yeah. And yeah, when she has the chicks, it's not good to be up there. So this is our the best system we've come up with. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say? Yeah, speaking of what, how you said the chickens lay fresh ones. Yeah. I went to check on them and I could only see this black and white one, but he looks super big. And under him is Dorcas. He see? was playing on Dorcas. See, they like to like team Team mother, team yeah. lay eggs, I don't know. But it gets complicated when you're mm -hmm. trying to keep certain eggs for hatching and others to be collected. Um, yeah, and so should we just take them out she's been lying on tonight since it'll kind of be... Yes, so we'll go, we'll go collect because these are all today's eggs. They'll all be on the same schedule and we'll tuck them all under her. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll move her before things get complicated. Oh, another good news about the chickens. What? So you know those big blue bins that we got? That, yes. But no chickens ever laid right. on them? Right. I was looking today and a chicken laid an egg in one. Oh, that's good news. Yep, Making right. use of the other two laying tubs up there <laughs> that nobody uses. Glad somebody's putting them to use. Yep. Okay, let's go collect. All right. All Finn's, right. Finn said I should film her in case there's a snake. Yeah. You, every, go, you go right ahead. I'll watch from back here. <laughs> every time I do this, I'm always super scared. I, me too. And then I'll, there'll be a big old chicken in there with a leg. Which always kind of freaks you out yeah. too if they flutter up in your face. Ooh, Any eggs? That could be proof that there was a snake here today. Why? Eggs what? Here. No mm -hmm. eggs? Golf ball? Nothing? Nothing. Did well, maybe they're all up under Dorcas. Maybe they oh, maybe. They contributed. Letting her do all the work. They're like, we'll lay the <laughs> eggs, you do the work. Okay, please let there not be a snake. Ooh. Anything? Oh, one egg. Well, that's not much. That's weird. There's usually some in We need to inside. clean this there's out. A, there's also three up there, so... That's still not very good. Yeah, there's usually some inside of it, though. Okay, let's... Oh, inside here? Yeah. Okay, you check in there. Here. That's also where there's sometimes snakes. Oh, we never actually seen any in here. But oh, I have. There. Maybe you haven't, but I have. All right. Goofy Gill over there. 
He keeps busting through the fence or under, I don't know what. He goes in the garden, but then he makes his way back. So we're not, we're not worrying about it. Too. Right. We're not going to worry about him for now. Oh, snake! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't Just trick me. Uh, I like... oh. oh, see, now that's questionable. We don't know how old that is. <laughs> you're, oh. you're not going to be able to tell. Yeah. Okay, any more in there? Oh, look, I'll go. Here. I'll hold the questionable. Uh, it's really hard to see. Okay, there's something with a light on it, or there's a snake. Oh! And I see your phone. Where? It's really short. Like, Where? Is your flashlight real Where are you looking? See that black line? I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm going to turn it off so she can use the flashlight. Okay. That was really creepy. Thankfully, it wasn't a snake, but... It sure looked like it, but it was just a tail feather of one of the chickens. Probably the rooster. He's the yeah. big, long, black feathers. Yep. And still no more eggs, so we'll go up to the shop, see what we can find. Yep. Collections for Dorcas. Yep. One egg so far. That's not enough. <laughs> we might have to wait a day and pull off our plan. Yeah, there might be some up in the red coop. Nobody ever looks there. Where's Dorcas? Where's Dorcas? Oh, there she is. Faithful little mother Dorcas. So, there just weren't many eggs to collect today. Nope. And only one. So we're gonna collect and pull up our pull off our plan tomorrow when there's more eggs, hopefully. Pretty color though. Oh, both blue. Yep, two blues. Maybe more tomorrow. Don't we'll try again. The only reason this one's wet is because there's water in here. True. Not because it's just. Okay, now we're done. Well, um, let's collect her egg. Okay. We, we want to keep them all on the same time table. Sure, here. Can here, I'll hold that. Is she going to get mad at you? Um, She's pretty used to me getting Okay, um, you I'll do it. These in here. Don't you now? love how I make Finn do it? She's more brave than me. Here, can you watch that request? Oh, you want over here? Yeah, I have it. I Sorry. Not too tall. Okay, Dorcas. There you go. Aww. Now she's, being she's not even. Oh, 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 now she's getting mad. She usually does it. She picked me once. Oh, she's a little bit mad. <gasps> don't you don't have to move her. Just grab the egg and go. Okay. Just grab okay. it and get out of there. Oh, super warm. Nice warm egg. Sorry, Dorcas. Maybe. Tomorrow. She still thinks there's an egg. Under Tomorrow. There. We'll be back. It's okay. <laughs> She's a little upset. She's a good girl, though. She didn't even try to peck you. Kiss your egg goodbye. Oh, don't. You're going to get her all upset again. <laughs> oh, she didn't even need any of her food I gave her. Uh, when they get their mind on sitting Babies. on eggs, they're kind of one-track mind. True. She might appreciate it later. Here, I'll put the egg back. Now we are done. Now we're off on our date. All right. Good. Oh no, you have to start. Thanks for tuning in to our station. No, oh, it's to getting worse. It's not a station. It's a channel. Channel. I like station. To okay. Eight track tape. <laughs> Keep going. Go ahead. <laughs> it's been a good week. Uh, lots of animals still. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The summer is here. I'm sweating yeah, right now. She's sweating. really sweating. I'm actually not. I don't know why. It's not that I hot. Mom's kind of just. That's why she's got. So. <laughs> Anyway, I'll start us off while she's wiping her sweat. Seem to have, I know, sorry. Things seem to have slowed down a little bit. Right. Animal, animal wise, I feel like we got slammed. We had a huge rain that uh, flushed everything out, probably. Oh. So, anyway. Okay. Things come and go. That's kind of nice to have a pause. In now, I yes. think more deer, probably. This is the time of year for that. So, we'll probably get more of those. Two little guys still doing well. So, yeah. fun. I love the deer. So, Finney loves the deer. That's why I love the deer. They are the easiest animals in the. Probably, Probably the cutest. cutest. Baby beavers. We haven't had those in a long time, but man, they are so cute. Maybe this year. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's about Too we're running out of time. Them. Yeah. Who knows? So, okay. speaking of running out of time, um, some of you guys have been giving, uh, giving to, to the Patreon or go the, find me for the cage stuff. Yeah, that's what, which is awesome. But some of the comments sometimes people like feel bad if they they can't give, and it's like that's not necessarily the point of the the video i mean it helps it's amazing but even if you just share and show somebody else because that like actually brings in revenue as well just numbers so 
share, yeah. like, and you know, what do they call that? Um, subscribe. Subscribe. Yep. Or tune in. Yep. Tune in. So we need to make a video or a, bum, a bumper sticker that says tune in slash subscribe. So I'd, I'd, I'd wear that on my truck. Or okay, we'll make you put one. Put that on my truck. We'll wear <laughs> but it's, it's been good so far. So. But we don't want anybody to feel bad. <clears throat> we know that many of you are on very limited, yeah. strict budgets. And <clears throat> the last thing we would want you to do is give when you would be sacrificing something else that you need. So please, no worries there at all. And I thought the other day, Something that's even more beneficial to us than the finances is prayer. Yeah. You know, a lot of you have had a huge role in Briar's recovery and even just praying for us. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens around here. The kids are doing a lot of crazy things um, and your prayers are more valuable than any financial gift. So thank you for all of you. The yep. ones that give financially, give through prayer. They should have prayer Patreon. Prayer Treon. Prayer Treon, Nash said. That's good. Prayer Treon. <laughs> So you have something to work on. Nash has something to work on. Nash should work on their prayer job. What am I working on? Oh, the bumper the sticker. The bumper sticker yeah, that good. says Excellent. something. Tune in. <clears throat> to our station. Yeah. If we ever get big, which, you know, you know <laughs> then it'll be, be worth it. Right now, it's like, that's just fun. You know, one thing this week was a nightmare was that wire. Putting the wire on the cage. We thought, I thought Super that would be easy. the most fun part of all. Nice. Because I like working with that wire. It's not like chicken wire, all flimsy. Well, I learned that either I got a weird batch or it's just... The way it is. No fun. It's all warped and It bubbly. was fun for me. Because I didn't do it. It's fun now because it it's beautiful. behind me. Yeah, she did a great job. She always does a great job. But I do have a joke. Okay. Not the wire? The wire's not a joke? That was a joke, but no. A real joke. Knock, knock. Commit. No! <laughs> Who's there? Wire. Oh, gosh. Why or who? Why are you asking me? That's not too bad. I would, I would give that a good, like, it's a relevant joke. That's what happens when Finn's not around to give us cat jokes. That's yeah, true. But why are you asking me is pretty good. That, that's pretty good. Thanks. I felt like it was appropriate. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks Wait, for watching. Thankful. Are you thankful? I'm oh, super thankful he's not oh, thankful. He's not even I thankful. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Wow. Okay, now you're on the spot. I'm super thankful. Oh, what wow. are you right. thankful for? I'm, oh, I'm thankful that my father in law, who is passed on now sadly uh trained his daughter to work hard and be super like uh, what's the word um it's so hilarious because when i used it's to what, work with my, oh bossy. yes bossy bossy is a good bossy. word I'm good kidding. job nash so we might have to edit this video i don't know we'll, yes. see. we'll see if she lets it fly so when he was alive there were many times that he would come to our house and want to do projects and help and help is a hilarious way of saying it because <laughs> he would do the projects. he would do them we were lucky if he would let us hand him the hammer and like without one time, the very first project we did together when we were married was a deck. I was excited to learn to build the deck with my father and all. This was going to be fantastic. <laughs> I didn't do a thing. Not you because I didn't want to. Handed him nails. Yeah, he maybe. wouldn't bear it. He wouldn't even, I couldn't even hand the nails right. He was a perfectionist like <laughs> somebody. So it's hilarious because it's, it's the same thing. There's only a few things she can't do. Like she doesn't like to use a saw, which really surprises me because I've learned, that's precise. And I've, it's like it's not hard. Well, I've learned, but I'm not straight. But I've yeah. learned. Well, it's wonder I'm straight. <laughs> that could be a bad joke. It could, I am that straight. could have been a bad thing. That could have, yeah. yeah. New <laughs> joke. <straight>. New joke. <laughs> um, it's not, that's not the joke. No. So I'm thankful that he did raise her. In a, in a, I remember dating her. Just too much information probably. That's all right. And I'd go there for the weekend, and she'd be out there mowing, weed eating, chainsawing with her dad. And I didn't get to touch a chainsaw. I that's had true. To but drag, you got to do, I had to drag, <laughs> had to drag all the, the things brush. that he cut down. That was my life. So maybe that's why she's now so, like, I don't want to use the word bossy, but it, uh, but it probably fits. No. But she's so like, she wants to like, you know, get these projects and do it herself because she well, finally can. because I like it done right also. Oh, that's true too. I, I You should see the stuff I do. <laughs> Agreed. It's super right. He, he gets it done, but it's what I would call rigged. Yeah, I call it driver but quality. But it's done. I love doing old cars, for example. They're, mm. you probably couldn't take me to a car show, but they're driver quality, yeah. they're fun. That's good, and I like it That's done. our life, fun. Anyway, way too much information. Sorry if we've bored you. We have. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Hope you have a great week.